Hi, Vanessa here. In this video, we are going to make this lacy spring infinity scarf. Um, this one is for a child, uh, but it's very easy to customize. Um, I made this for my son's uh, friend in class. They're in kindergarten and uh, her birthday's coming up. And so I wanted to make her um, something pretty for the spring. So I did steam block this uh, scarf. Okay, so the circumference is 58 all the way around, 58 inches, and it's six inches wide. It's made in rows, and um, this is what the lace looks like. So it's pretty open. Um, it's good for the spring and summer, if you wanna <laughs> wear scarves in the summer. And um, I joined it so that it's an infinity scarf. So the join is right here. All right, so let's talk about the materials that you'll need for this project. So this one is Red Heart Super Saver. It's their pink camel. So I found this in the house and um, I thought it would be the perfect color choice for a little girl. For this tutorial, I'll be using Lion Brand's jeans. So this is their regular jeans yarn. They're like different shades of blue. And then they have jeans color, which are more colorful. And this color is Bermuda shorts. Okay, so it recommends a 5.5 crochet hook. This is Knitter's Pride's rose, their symphony rose with Swarovski crystals and you'll need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle okay and if you want it to measure your work you'll need a tape measure as well all right so let's get started okay so we're going to start with a slip knot wrap your yarn around okay insert your hook into the loop grab your working yarn Okay, so you want to chain in multiples of six, and that's going to be the width of your scarf. So for this scarf, I chained 30. Okay, so I chained 24 for this one. So this is going to be your foundation row. Okay, so working into the sixth chain from the hook, this one doesn't count, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to work one treble uh, crochet stitch in there and work into the little back humps so that you have a nicer edge to uh, sew your ends together. So you, to work a treble crochet, you're going to yarn over twice, okay, one, two and then right into the hump of that six stitch you want to insert your hook yarn over pull up a loop then you're going to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two okay so this is going to count as one treble chain one and one treble so now you want to chain three so here's one two three and then you're going to skip two stitches and work one single crochet. So we worked in this stitch here, this hump. We're skipping one, two stitches and working into this third one. So insert your hook again through the back hump, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So that's your single crochet. You want to chain three, one, two, three, Okay, so now we're going to skip two, one, two, into the third stitch. We're going to work one treble, chain two, and one treble into the same stitch, okay? So yarn over twice into that third stitch. We're skipping one, two, into the third stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, chain two, one, two, and then another treble into the same stitch.
okay? Chain three, one, two, three, skip two again, one, two, and then one single crochet into the next, chain three, skip two, and then we're working another set of the trebles, okay? So yarn over twice, skip two into the third, work your treble, chain two, one, two, work another treble, right into that same stitch, okay, chain three. So you're repeating that until you are at the last three stitches. So one, two, insert your hook into that third, work your single crochet, and then we have three stitches left. We're going to chain three, and then here we're working another set of the treble, but instead of chaining two, we're going to chain one, which is going to match your starting stitches. That's your treble, chain one and a treble. Okay, so into the last stitch, because we're skipping two, and then we're working one treble, chain one, and then another treble. Okay, so that's our foundation. I know it looks a little crazy, but it all makes sense once you work a few rows. We're going to start row one. And to start row one, you want to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and turn. So that's going to count as one treble crochet stitch and one chain one stitch. Okay, so right into this chain one space between your two trebles, you're going to work two treble crochets, okay, into the same space right here. So yarn over twice, work your first treble crochet stitch, okay, yarn over twice again, work your second stitch right into the same space. Okay, so now we're going to chain one. And then right here, so we're skipping all of these stitches. Okay, we're moving right on to the next set of trebles. Okay, we're going to work into this chain two space, two trebles, chain one, two trebles. Okay, so we're skipping all these, working our first treble right into that chain two space. Okay, now we're working another treble into this chain two space. And then we're going to chain one between this set and the next set that we're going to place in the same space. So another two treble crochet stitch. There's one and one last one. Okay, now we're going to chain one. And we're going to repeat that all the way across, okay? We're going to work one set of these trebles, chain one and trebles, all the way across until you get to the last set over here in the edge. So I just chained one. I'm going to work another set here, and I only have one more, but if you're making a larger one, um, you should have more stitches to work. So first treble, second treble, we're work remember we're working all of this into this chain two space, chain one, and then two more treble stitches, one, and our last one. Okay, so chain one. So in between the sets, you want to chain one. And then when you get to the last one, what you're going to do is work two trebles, chain one, and then one treble. So we're, we're going to skip one of the treble stitches. Okay, so into this last space here, 
you work two treble stitches, two treble crochet stitches, chain one, and then instead of another two, we're just going to work one last one. Okay, so that's your row one. Okay. Now row two, we're going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five, and turn. So this one will be similar to the foundation row. Okay, so this is going to count as one treble and a chain one. So we're going to work one treble into the same stitch. Okay, chain three, one, two, three. And then into this space between the trebles, that's where we're going to work our single crochet stitch. Okay, just one single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And then just like down here, it's going to be one treble, chain two, and one treble. But we're working into this chain one space here. So yarn over twice, work your first treble, chain two, and then work another treble into the same chain one space. Okay, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then in between the sets from the previous row, we're working a just one single crochet into the chain one space chain three, so that's your repeat, okay, all the way across, work another treble, chain two, and treble into this chain one space. One, chain two, and another treble crochet. Okay, chain three, and one single crochet into the space chain one space here is chain three. Okay, so now we're at the end, so we're going to try and match this side, okay? So what we're going to do is work one treble, chain one, and one treble into um, this fourth chain from this chain five. So one, two, three, four, into the fourth chain stitch. Okay, you're just counting from here. One, two, three, four. Work your first treble, chain one, and then work another treble into the same stitch. Okay, we chained five there, but we want to work into the fourth chain because there should be a chain one between this one and that one. Okay, so that is basically the two rows that you're going to repeat, row one and row two. So let's repeat row one, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and that'll count as one treble and a chain one. So now we're working two treble crochets into this chain one space. Okay, there's one treble and two trebles. Okay, now we're going to chain one, and then again repeating row one. So now we're working the two trebles, chain one, and two trebles. So here's the first treble. We're working into the chain two space, and here's another treble. Okay, chain one, and we're working two more trebles into that same chain two space. Chain one, and then right into the next stitch, next chain two space here, we want to work a set of two trebles. Okay, there's one, two, a chain one, and then two more trebles into that same chain two space. Okay, I love this pattern because it's it only has two rows to repeat and 
the tall stitches make the project go faster. And it's pretty, right? So into this last stitch, last space, we're going to work two trebles because we're on the edge again. We're going to chain one and then instead of working another two, we're just working one treble to finish up the row, just like we did in row one. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to repeat row two, okay? Which is this row. So this will be the last row that I will demonstrate. Okay. So right into the same stitch, we want to work one treble crochet. Remember the chain five counts as one treble crochet and a chain one stitch. So we're going to chain three, oops, and right into this space between these two, we will work one single crochet, chain three. And here we're working one treble, chain two, and one treble. So one treble, chain two, and then another treble. Okay, chain three, and one single crochet into the chain one space there. Chain three, and then another set of one treble, chain two, and one treble, all into the chain one space. chain two into the same stitch, one more treble crochet, chain three into the next chain one space, one single crochet, chain three. So this is our beginning chain five from the last row. We're going to count four up. This is the first one. That's the second one. One, two, three, four, so that's the fourth stitch you want to work in. This is our fifth stitch, which, which counts as the chain one. So you want to work into the fourth chain stitch, two treble crochet stitches. One, and into the same stitch, another treble, okay? So a total of two. Okay, again, you just repeat rows one and two. So you want to end on, let's see, this was one, two, one, two. So you wanna end after row one. One, two, three, four, five, turn. And then into this space, you're going to work two treble crochet stitches. So this is just a repeat of row one. And then I'll show you how to join your ends, okay, to make it an infinity scarf. Okay, so chain one, and then we're going to work the set of two, chain one and two trebles, okay? So here's the first treble. Here's the second treble. Chain one and then two more treble stitches into the same chain two space. And the reason why we stop on row one is because it's flat. Um, right here, it's still uneven, so you, it's harder to seam that way. Okay, another treble set here. Double treble? <laughs> Double treble, okay. Okay, chain one into the last stitch. We're just working um, two trebles, chain one, and then one treble at the end. Okay, there's one, two, chain one, and one last treble. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to seam the ends. Okay, so hopefully you'll have a longer one and you don't have to make it an infinity scarf. You could just leave it and make it uh, a scarf. You can even add a fringe on the ends, um, whatever you like. 
So when you end row one, you should be on your right side and you want to grab your chain, beginning chain stitches and bring it up. Okay, your scarf of course is going to be longer than that, but you want your wrong side on the outside when you're seaming so that when you flip it over, the seam is on the inside. I have the back side here. I'm just sort of holding it together. So into that same stitch right there, we're going to insert our hook and then into the very first stitch on this side, which is the corner right there. You're going to insert your hook through there, yarn over and pull it through both panels and then through the loop on your hook. Okay, into the next stitch. You can work into the space if you like, but I like to work into the stitch. Okay, next stitch, which is a chain one space, but I'm going directly into the stitch. So the stitch back here, and then yarn over, pull through that one, through that one, and then through the loop on your hook. Okay, next stitch, you're just going to repeat this all the way across. Okay, back side. Next stitch. Okay, so just continue working a slip stitch all the way across in every stitch. Okay, so I'm at the last stitch here. Okay, so that's your seam. You just want to fasten off. Let me turn it back onto the wrong side. Okay, pull your tail through. Weave it into your tapestry needle. And then to secure it, I like to weave through a few stitches first i'm just going right through the seam you can weave it however you like okay then insert your needle and then wrap it around twice holding the base pull your yarn through and tighten and then you can just weave in as far as you'd like or you can just cut your yarn okay and then you can flip it the other way all right that's a funky looking infinity scarf, but it's just a sample. Okay, again, I stopped when um, I felt like it was long enough for a child. I actually put it over my son's, wrapped it around my son's neck to see if I liked it because they're about the same size. Okay, so you can adjust to any size you'd like. You can even adjust the weight of the yarn. Um, you know, in the winter, it could be a super chunky one. I think that would look great as well. You can use whatever method of blocking you'd like. I just steamed this one. All right. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos.